Earlier, we discussed how consumers are ditching one-stop grocery shopping in order to save. With high food prices still plaguing shelves, families are looking for ways to lower their bills. Yeah, we invited budget coach Brittany Newcomb on to share some tips for tackling your next grocery list. I am so happy yeah. that you're here because <laughs> we all I need struggle help. with this. I didn't yeah. do well with that quiz. Heather, Heather, she's the expert here. <laughs> well, we all, I think we all fail and, and you're kind of like learning as you go. And especially now, I think we're all kind of relearning yes. how to do things. Yes. So you say first though, start with the grocery budget. Know kind of like where you want to come in at. So I always start, one thing that I learned, this is taking it way back when my mom and my dad were married and I was younger, is we would shop our inventory of what we already had at our house. Yeah. Mm. Fridge, freezer, pantry, you take stock of what you already have. And then from there you create a meal plan. So every night of the week you kind of um, assign a meal for dinner. And if you don't have something, you throw it on the grocery list and it's key, but you stick to the list. Yes. <laughs> Where I have the problem. Yeah. 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 But I like that idea though, because mm -hmm. that's what happens to us often. Like you buy something that you don't need because yeah. it was hiding yes. in the back of the refrigerator. Right. Yes. And you're just you're just being wasteful. Yes, yeah. exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're just throwing money away at that point. Well, this also comes down to like you know a half-eaten box of spaghetti. So mm -hmm. you have something left over, and maybe that's not a whole meal, but you can make some pasta salad with it. So you yeah, really exactly. mm -hmm. you have to start getting inventive and creative. Yeah, and you could use that stuff for lunches too. I know my husband takes leftovers almost every single day of the week for lunch, so we save on lunch groceries, mm -hmm. but then I'm buying something new for dinner all the time. There but like go. I said, when you meal plan, yeah. it takes the guesswork out of and it. And you said meal planning is the key, yes. right? So you're planning out every single meal for seven days out of the week, or does you vary that? I mean, I will throw in a takeout at least once a week because convenience. I mean, I have a child and you know, we're busy. busy. So, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, we get busy. And so I think takeout once in a while is fine, but Taco Bell is 50 bucks now, <laughs> yeah. so it's not always <laughs> worth it to go out to eat. <laughs> well, let's talk about the actual budget too. If yeah. We can go back to that because mm -hmm. I think what's really hard is that we, especially early on when, when prices started to rise, we yeah. expected, oh, we can spend this much at the grocery store and get everything we need. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So how do you appropriately budget? Because sometimes you're shocked when you go in and you think, oh, I'm going to spend $5 on cheese and it's really seven. Yeah. yeah. So. I mean, it is really a trial and error thing, but a couple of things to take into consideration is where you're at, so location is key. Um, you wanna take into consideration your family size. I'm a family of three. I'm not gonna spend as much as a family of 10. Mm -hmm. And then if your family has any dietary restrictions, if somebody's gluten-free, you're probably gonna spend a little bit more than for a family that's that isn't. That's true. Yeah. yeah, and do you agree, like, it's, it's, it's good to shop at different stores to do kind of what I the do trend it. Is. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I shop at different stores. Aldi is a favorite of mine, as well as I do go to Walmart. Um, but I really like online shopping as well because you can see the total in your cart as you go. Well, Brittany, I know because I followed you for a while that you are a huge cash envelope. Yes family. Yes. So you guys kind of um, divide up your budget mm -hmm. based on and then you put actual cash in envelopes. But you yes. said that you've switched now with groceries because there is that convenience and doing everything online. Yeah. So when I would go into the actual grocery store, I get distracted easily, especially with my child who's seven. She likes the toy aisle. So uh, well, a short <laughs> yeah. aisle right. and the aisle. Yeah, yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> so it. I've had to switch over to online shopping where I can either go get go pick up my groceries or I can have them delivered to my house. So it eliminates the distraction and um, I just keep that money in my bank account and go from there. But I feel like it's the same as cash spending. Mm -hmm. I just keep track of everything. I tell you, I was in Trader Joe's last week and there was this guy, he was pushing his cart. It was a man. <laughs> he had a physical shopping list and he, he was like, to do it. he was checking things you off and, and I was just staring at him like, <laughs> wow, I want to be like that one day. But do you, do you find that helpful to take a physical list with you? To oh the yeah. Store? Mm -hmm. My mom taught me well with that. Yes. We always yeah. had a physical list when I was younger. I still do it to this. I have a whole notebook in my I do purse. Too. And one I'm, side is the meals yep. and the other side is the list. Yep, <laughs> and people are looking at me like I'm crazy. I'm like, well, at least I'm saving That's money. Right. So. That's right. I've got some learning to do. <laughs> Can I, and I don't know if this is too personal, but yeah. what is your like rough budget for a family of three? For a family of three, this does not include takeout. My husband does um, pay for most of our takeout. We spend a little bit around like $600 a month. On groceries. Mm. On groceries. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that is me being, I mean, I'm pretty strict about my shopping so so that's about like 150 a week yeah you're spending in groceries that sounds mm -hmm. about i feel like about right mm -hmm. yeah i think yep. so yeah. yeah it's still just so expensive we know it's cut into a lot it's of people's budgets yeah. yeah well thank yeah. you so much for coming on and, and i've learned not to go to the grocery store hungry don't, don't not go to the grocery store, store hungry have a banana. banana yes 
Don't Even do if it. you have to buy the banana in the produce <laughs> aisle, yes. eat the banana before you get to the cookies. Absolutely. Oh, if you're yeah. looking for more budgeting tips, we're going to have a link to Brittany's Instagram on our website at katiekea.com slash talkpittsburgh. And we'll be right back.